Hey guys, I just got back from Zumba and it is 10.57 a.m. on Friday and I have so much to be happy about today. Okay, so first of all, it's been amazing to get back to Zumba. I had to take like a week and a half off when I was prepping and doing my shows and everything like that during peak week. So today I got to go back and dance with everybody. It was so much fun. I don't know, I've been scratching my neck. It's turning all red. Um, anyways, I also am excited because today I am increasing my carbs and my fats. So on my reverse diet plan, I started out 60 carbs, 120 protein, 40 grams of fat. And today I'm bumping it up. I was actually have been losing weight um, each day, which probably because was because on Tuesday I started at 112 and I was super bloated. So each day of the week I've kind of seen that bloat go down now that I'm back on um, my reverse diet. So I did my reverse diet, those macros for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yesterday I was so hungry, you guys, like seriously, a big blah blah baby about it because I wanted to eat um, it was probably like eight and I had taught Zumba last night too I subbed at Prairie and then when I got home I ate and it was a delicious meal um, with chicken and lettuce and bacon bacon yeah bacon anywho <laughs> look at these little curls my hair was straight when I went into Zumba you guys now it's all girly I'm so easily distracted right now. This is what happens when you're home alone after Zumba and you have tons of energy. What was I talking about? Okay. <laughs> okay, I was talking about increasing my macros. I lost my train of thought. And there's a fly. Oh, these flies in my house, I swear to goodness. Okay. Oh, I was so hungry. That's where I was. I was super, super hungry last night. Um, I did cheat a little bit. I had like a couple, I had a bite of my husband's hot dog and then I had a couple hot Cheetos, like literally five, not a lot. I don't even count it. I didn't count my macros. Anyways, I woke up this morning and I weigh 108.4. So my weight is going back down a lot. So I'm increasing the macros today and I'm decreasing my cardio by 10 minutes. So I did an hour of Zoom this morning as my workout and then tonight I'll go to the gym, I'll do 35 more minutes of cardio and then a strength training session which I haven't really decided what I'm gonna work today. So we'll see, maybe I'll do whatever the hubby's doing. Maybe a leg day. I don't even know. My neck, ugh. Anywho, um, I wanted to just up a little, uh, I wanted to update you guys on my macros and I'm just so super excited about it. I'm gonna eat now um, and yeah, I'll check in with you guys maybe later. I finally got my show day vlog up. I know a week later, sorry guys, I suck at editing them. It takes me forever. Hopefully I'll get better at it. Um, and then I'm gonna put this reverse diet up for week one of my reverse diet, I'll probably just clip them all together so it's not a bunch of little videos. But I'm going to go eat my Shakeology. I have to finish my pre-workout, like my BTAs and pre-workouts that I was supposed to finish before Zumba. So I'm going to chug this and then I'm going to make my delicious shake and maybe I'll show, maybe I'll show it to you guys. It's so amazing. All right. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. I decided to film my shake for you since this is like my go-to breakfast all the time. Oh shoot. So I decided to film my daily breakfast for you. Now that I'm on my reverse, I'm back on my Shakeology. Today I am making the vegan Shakeology. This is the vegan chocolate. It is amazing. So the macros on this bad boy are 170 calories, four grams of fat, um, 18 carbohydrates with eight of them coming from sugar and protein is 16 grams. So this is kind of the basis of my shake. I also add to it 
Today I'm adding six ounces of organic protein. You saw this in my grocery shopping um, haul that I picked this up from, I get it at Walmart. It's the only place that I can find it. It's a little bit pricey. I think it's like $3.50 for this small container which has four cups in it. I'm gonna get my measuring cup. Okay, got my measuring cup. I am going to do six ounces, which is three-fourths of a cup. Do, 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 measuring it out. And then this is nice and cold, which is good. I pour it right on into, I use the Nutribullet. So here's my container. Just gonna pour that in. It's not a lot of liquid. So I'll add all my other ingredients and then I just top it off at the end with water. So, oh, and let me tell you, the macros on this bad boy is t for one cup, it's 10 grams of protein, two carbs, 1.5 grams of fat, 60 calories. Um, and since I didn't use a full cup, it's about eight grams of protein for me in this. Then I also will add in my one scoop of the Shakeology mix. One heaping scoop. Oh, it smells so good. The vegan chocolate is super chocolatey tasting. Like if you are a chocolate person like I am, then you will absolutely love it. And I'm a chocolate peanut butter banana. My macros did go up, but not enough for me to justify putting a banana in it. So I'm going to weigh out. I'll do it facing you guys so you can see. I just have the Jif Natural um, peanut butter. Turn this on. I just changed the battery on it. And then I put the units to grams. And I think I was doing 33 grams is one serving. So I'm only going to do 25 grams. And I'm using this knife. I wouldn't recommend it. Use a butter knife, guys. But that's what I have at the moment. So that was 11 grams. I get to keep on going. 19 grams. And I'm just dropping it right on in here. And then it's 28, 25 grams. And it goes. Always lick off the excess because I counted those macros and some on my finger. Okay. Mm-mm-mm. Wipe my hands. And then the final thing that I add before the water is my optimum nutrition vanilla. See, I really actually like adding the vanilla ice cream to the chocolate. And most people would think, like, it gives it a weird taste and you'd want to add more chocolate. But the chocolate vegan Shakeology is such a rich taste. I'm only adding half a scoop. They add it... Um, the vanilla ice cream just brings out a little a little zing to it. So that's what it looks like now. I'm going to add water all the way up to that max fill line. And then I'm going to blend it up. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. Alright, it's all done and blended. So I'm just going to pour it on in to my Shigology cup. It goes pretty much to the top. Like that is a full, legit meal, you guys. And I'll post the macros on this meal below. But it is... Perfect to have after a workout. Perfect to have first thing in the morning. And the, what I love about Shakeology is it has tons of freaking superfoods in here. So we have flax, ginkgo, my cake. I don't know. I don't even know how to pronounce that. That's how fancy it is. Goji berry, pomegranate, quinoa, um, bilberry, moringa, um, so it really helps for my sweet tooth cravings because I get a lot of those. I really have a huge sweet tooth. Helps with that. And it also just helps give um, my body the nutrients that it needs for the day so that I'm not craving um, like a shit ton of junk because my body is actually fueled with the nutrients that it craves and needs um, throughout the day. And I don't have to eat a vegetable, but there's vegetables in here. Yay! Okay, I'm going to enjoy this, and I actually have a lot of work to do. So, I'm going to work, and I'm going to drink my shake, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Hey, guys. I just wanted to do a quick check-in. Today is 
Sunday, July 10th. So I just wanted to give you an update on my reverse diet and kind of come clean about some of my cheats that I've had. Um, so last time I checked in with you guys, it was Friday and I did, I showed you guys the recipe and everything and I was in such a good mood. I had just increased my macros. Um, and so I was excited about that. And then Friday night, it was my friend Ashley's birthday. And we went out to celebrate. And I decided that I was just going to have a couple drinks. So I did. I had a couple margaritas. Okay, maybe a couple more than a couple margaritas. And, um, and after that, we went to IHOP and I had some pancakes. That definitely didn't fit in my macros. Um, and I was... I felt okay about it because I figured, okay, it's just one day. Um, I'm having a good time with my friends and it's not going to make or break me. I got up the next morning, weighed myself. I think I was up, um, I was up to 110.6 maybe. And the day before I was at 109. So I went up maybe a pound and that's just, of course, bloat and things like that. And so I hit the gym really hard. I did my normal cardio and then I did um, a leg day and my legs were so sore. So when we went out, we went out dancing and I love dancing as you saw in the previous clips. It's like my happy place. Um, and we literally danced for three hours straight, like nonstop. Even my husband Fabian was getting it on the dance floor. Like it was just a really good time. Um, and I know we burned a ton of calories. That's also why I didn't feel too guilty about um, the drinks that I had. So where I was going with that is I tried to do legs the next day because I was like, oh, I have all these extra carbs in me. I'm going to pump out legs. My legs were so sore from dancing and getting low apparently. <laughs> so I did maybe like three sets of squats and by then my legs were done. So then I just kind of killed out my, well my quads were done. So then I just killed out my hammies and my glutes by doing a shit ton, excuse my language, of deadlifts. Um, and then I think I did, I think that's it. I only did squats and deadlifts and then I was done with that. And I ate very good all day. I went right back on to, you know, my normal macro eating plans. I did my cardio and I debated about the fact that I should have to do, should I have to do more cardio to make up for it. And I started to kind of feel a little bit guilty about going out the night before. And I started questioning like, should I do just an extra 15, 20 minutes of cardio or should I stick to the fact that I just decreased my cardio by 10 minutes a day? Um, that debate went in my head and I realized no, I shouldn't be trying to overdo things and I need to stick with my plan. If I have one bad day or one bad evening, I'm not going to punish myself the next day for it. I'm not going to make myself reduce my carbs and, re and increase my cardio. That's not a healthy place to be and that's not the point of this reverse diet for me. I decided that I'm going to do my normal amount of cardio and then for the rest of the night, um, I'll be active. So Fabian and I ended up going for a walk in downtown Elgin, down the river walk, which is really beautiful. And it was just a leisurely walk, but it was a way to stay active, burn more calories, and just do it in a way that's enjoyable. So Fabian and I walked for a while, and that was really, really nice. Um, and then to last night, I don't know what happened, but I fell asleep at probably... 10 o'clock and woke up with like the craziest sugar cravings ever. I don't know if you've ever done this, but I felt a little bit like a crazy person because I woke up and I ate like six Oreos and a half a, not even a half a cup of milk. It was probably like a quarter of a cup of milk. But like when you're half asleep, you're not even thinking, you know, like I didn't have a debate with myself about it. I literally just woke up from sleeping on the couch went and ate some Oreos, and then went to bed bed. 
and kind of thought to myself after I was done eating it, like, why in the world did I just do that? I still don't know why I did that. Um, but it was like an extra, it put me over my carbs a little bit, not, not by much because I was, I didn't have a lot of carbs yesterday. And then it put me over my fat by like 20 grams. Like that's a huge amount of fat to go over. Um, so I woke up this morning after putting it all into my fitness pail and I felt a little guilty again. And I kind of had this debate like, what is wrong with me? Why can't I stick to this plan? Um, and am I crazy because I'm having such a hard time with this or um, just, I don't know. I'm kind of a little bit annoyed with myself and the fact that I haven't been sticking to this plan. And the whole point of this reverse diet series is to show you guys how it works. And the fact that this weekend I couldn't even stick to my macros is disappointing to me. I feel like I'm letting you guys down. I feel like I'm definitely letting myself down. And of course, like every 10 minutes I'm checking my abs to see if they're still there. I'm checking my arms and I feel a little bit fluffy, but my body hasn't really changed that much from having these treats. So I think the number one thing that I'm learning is that I don't have to be perfect in this reverse diet and the weekends are harder for me and that's okay. Okay, because that's normal and I'm sorry for the glare on my glasses I see it going but the like literally it's normal to be hungry when you're dieting and I'm still technically dieting and although we're increasing my macros I'm doing it at a really slow rate so I'm gonna have cravings still and I'm going to be hungry still and I didn't binge which is what I was doing in the past after my shows. I was eating anything and everything. So in that aspect, I've made progress. Am I exactly where I want to be with my reverse diet? No. But am I in a better place than I was before? Yes. And that's what's super important. And that's what I need to continue to remind myself of is it's not about perfection. It's about progress. And I say that all the time on my Facebook and here and there. And I say it um, especially when it comes to doing your workouts and to, you know, getting the body that you desire. I always say it's about the journey. It's about the progress. It's not about perfection. But here I am holding my reverse diet to this perfection standard. And that's not realistic for me. Um, so I'm going to try to throw that mentality. It's going to take a while. But I'm going to try to throw that mentality out the window and eat to my macros as close as I can without going crazy overboard, without thinking that I need to do all this cardio to make up for any extra calories that I eat. Um, and to also know in my head, in a couple weeks I will have so many more macros to work with and that's the end goal. The end goal is I want to build my metabolism up so that I can have more food and I'm not feeling this way and I want to do it in a slow manner um, so that I'm not binging, so that I'm not putting on a ton of weight that I don't want to, so that I don't undo all the progress that I've worked for. But I do have to say, you guys, I overate on my macros, but today's workout was amazing. Like, legit, I had two really like high carb, high fat days with Friday, well it was kind of like Friday night and then Saturday night having those extra Oreos, which isn't that big of a deal, I know. But still, those extra calories, I crushed it in the gym today. And I only did it, Sundays are my day that I only do one um, cardio session. I don't do the two. So I did my 55 minutes of cardio, and I stuck with that. But I did the first 20 minutes of um, HIIT training. So I was doing sprints on the treadmill. And then for about 15 minutes, I walked at an incline. And one, when I was doing my sprints, it was probably the fastest that I've been able to go in a really long time without feeling completely just like exhausted and wanting to get out and counting the minutes till I'm done. Like I actually felt like, whoa, I feel strong. I feel powerful. I feel like my endurance has increased so much. Like that's a great feeling to have. My body is doing more and it's liking the way that it's feeling in my workouts. So that's that's important. And that's a lot more important than me being so focused on these numbers in my fitness pail. I'm feeling great. 
my body still looks great and I'm gonna put some progress pictures and I'm taking them tomorrow morning and I'm gonna put them in for you guys to see and I want you guys to see how my body slowly changes throughout um and then I did one mile so I'm not a runner for those of you that don't know me I do Zumba that's my cardio I love dancing that's my thing I really have never felt fallen in love with running or anything like that but during prep I was doing a lot of it so of course now I feel like I need to continue but that being said I ran my fastest mile ever so I did my hit training then I did walking on an incline and I decided my last 10 minutes I'm going to do a mile and I'm going to do that mile as fast as I possibly can so I cranked that thing up I usually run at like a 6.0 like that for me I'm huffing and puffing I ran at a 7.0 mile per hour and so my mile was like under nine minutes it was like eight minutes and 30 seconds I have never done that in my life and I literally I was done with my cardio at that point but I could have probably went a whole nother mile at that that's how amazing that I am feeling with having more food in my body and just to know like and think about the fact that my cardiovascular system has improved that much throughout prep and now going into my off season like that's exciting for me and I don't want to lose that so that's one of the good things that came out about me indulging in more than probably what I should have this weekend so that being said today I'm back on track um, and I don't really struggle during the day it's that night to be quite honest so I did I'm doing my intermittent fasting today since I had those Oreos so late last night, I started my fast, my meals a little bit later. I started them at 3 today. So I'll probably eat from like 3 to 10, 10.30. But Fabian and I are going to the movies. So I've been really eating a lot of vegetables today and a lot of lean proteins and saving my carbs and my fat. Because when we go to the movies, I want to be able to have a little something. I usually get like a chicken flatbread. So I want to be able to get that and not feel guilty and to make it fit within my macros. Like this is the whole point of reverse dieting um, and learning, you know, how to balance things out. I can go out to eat and I can have a higher fat, higher carb meal as long as I am making sure that I am eating tons of vegetables and tons of lean proteins. Um, and I even had some fruits and getting those micronutrients in so that... I can have things like that also so that being said that's where I'm at right now I feel um, I feel good just talking about it with you guys and saying it out loud I was talking to some of my Zumba students about it and they were like you better put that you cheated in your vlog and I was like I know I will I'm gonna tell it myself but it, I honestly feel better when I do say it out loud and I have little epiphanies about things too when I'm just yapping away so that being said it's like five o'clock and Fabian should be home any minute we're gonna go see a movie and I will add on my progress photos either to the end of this or the beginning of my next vlog thank you guys for listening and I know this is kind of a long rant I tend to do longer rants I'm working on that um but I hope you guys have a great weekend